Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 390. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news this week, so let's hop right into it. In first news, the upcoming My Little Pony movie scheduled for release on September 24, 2021. So, uh, a while back, there was some news about the up and coming My Little Pony movie, the second movie, but uh, it says, or it, w- it was planned to be a G5 movie. And uh, according to um, the Paramount Pictures, or um, what do I remember, like twin Paramount Pictures, something, one of their distributors, something like that, announced that. Let me just click here because it was on Twitter. They mentioned something like, uh, let's see, uh, Box Office Pro uh, says like, Paramount will release an untitled paranormal activity movie on March 19, 2021 and a My Little Pony movie on September 24th, 2001. Sorry, 2021. So... That's interesting because if we do remember a bit of the second movie or the G5 movie, that was supposed to set up the uh, introduction for the new crew. But if they're going to produce something for 2021, that's going to be a while. So there's nothing in 2020. Uh, so first, Game Leon mentioned here that um, there's a 22-month wait. So that's a bit extreme. I- I'm not 100% sure if this is real or not. I- I'm guessing it's real because it's from an official Twitter account. So that's something to consider. But uh, let's hope G5 will be great, right? Or good, at least. Hmm. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the next news. And next news is, well, Sophisto has made another deck for the My Little Pony or the Magic the Gathering Pony cards. And this one is Starry Nightmare Moon slash Princess Luna. So just looking here and yeah, this deck here is pure evil in the sense where you have a sideboard in commander you regularly you don't have uh, sideboards in commander but in this scenario here you ca- i guess you have to ask your play group something like that but yeah um this is the deck list it's pretty interesting and some of the cards here are pretty expensive like if i do remember right, vampiric tutor is about 60 american dollars so yay <laughs> Yeah, like, um, Sofiso doesn't play cheap. He 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 likes them expensive. But, yeah, um, here are some of the sideboard that he has. And uh, Princess Luna asked for moon in the art. And, yep, all of these cards have moon. And, yeah, th- this is a good tip to check out and see. And, yeah, if you are planning on doing this deck, um, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. As for me, I'll probably be waiting for a bit until I get my own and think if I really want to do it or not. Hmm? Anyway, um, let's head on to the next news. Next news is, well, a new article on the Pony and upcoming Playing With Fire movie. So, uh, somehow, this movie is getting a lot of traction in the Brony community somehow. I reported this one last week and it seems there's a follow-up um the website uh, amp let's see uh amp cinema um, well whatever it is so anyway um they asked john cena and uh, keegan michaels about keegan michael key about uh, my little pony and it gets pretty weird uh, i i personally say go check the new video out it's about a minute long. Um, I can't really play it here because, well, I don't want to get the copyright strike. So, yeah, um, go check it out. It's a lot of fun there. And in all honesty, I'm just going to summarize it. The interviewer asked John Cena um, what 
My Little Pony character represents him. Uh, John Cena mentioned something about what was the shirt I was wearing and it was Celestia. But he politically or he just really asked nicely about what the interviewer think his character would be. And he answered Twilight Sparkle because uh, there's some parallel between her character and John Cena's character in the movie. So that's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. And for Keenan... Oh, what was his name again? Oh man, I'm bad with names. My bad, sorry. Uh, Keegan-Michael, yes. Uh, he gets Pinkie Pie. So that's really interesting too. So would I say go watch this movie just because of that? I don't know. Um, If I'm not mistaken, this is also a Nickelodeon movie. And it's around, what, November something? So it's around before Thanksgiving and for the family kind of thing. So I, I, I guess it's worth a watch if you want to go watch it or if you have some kind of membership. What was it? Movie card? I, I don't remember. But yeah, um, go have fun. Go watch it if you want to. Uh, I probably will. Who knows? It might be fun. And on a follow-up, um, this one is interesting because it's on the My Little Pony website. Um, it's a, I, I'm thinking it's a clip from the show uh, stating some of the characters uh, getting stickers on their helmet. Like, this guy gets Fluttershy, this guy gets... Uh, no, this guy gets Fluttershy and this guy gets Pinkie Pie or Rainbow Dash. And there's this birdie big guy getting Pinkie Pie. And yeah, it's kind of interesting. And it's on the, uh, whatchamacallit, this official My Little Pony YouTube page, which is strange enough. And I do I say, you know what, just go give it a watch. You'll be entertained. And here's the thing. I, I don't know suddenly why this is picking up now. And am I going to complain? No, it's pretty entertaining. But I just find it strange and out of the blue, suddenly that this happened. And eh, I, I'm guessing it's cool. We, we'll have to wait and see. I hope that the pony thing is not going to be a, what you call this, strong focus of the movie. Rather, let it be a side gag or something like that who knows plus it's Nickelodeon mm -hmm. I said let's just go give it a try or whatever it is I'm guessing that's the reason why they put the ponies in they want uh, bronies to go check the movie out that's my logic isn't it mm -hmm. I I'm guessing it works because I'm gonna go watch it and with that that's the news so Nothing much in, so nothing much happening or nothing much happened to me this week. Um, I had friends over. We played games. Um, we played checkbox. Th that was really entertaining. That's my first time playing the game, and I find it highly hilarious. But other than that, um, just enjoy good food. I follow my. Instagram, that's instagram.com slash Norman Sanzo. Um, I post a lot of good food and a lot of interesting places around where I live. So, yay. Um, I'm not at the end yet, but that's what I have been doing. That's a good, that's a good way to follow me around. Other than that, I uh, haven't been playing any games, really. I've uh, been really busy and stuff. And... Overwatch 2 has been announced and it's technically almost the same game, not really. There's not much news on Overwatch 2. I am excited for it, but I can't be too excited because I got no idea what it is. But anyway, um, I'm just going to wrap it up short because there's nothing much for me to say. Red added. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing much for me to say because I haven't been doing much. So, uh, wrapping things up, sorry for the abrupt ending and so on. Anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the com. 
You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at TMBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song. Mm, it's not, not really Sapphire. Sapphire is on break for a bit to deal with college work. But you got Totera. Totera is awesome. And well, we review the pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do beyond those with animes or discussions about stuff, movies or Disney remakes and whatnot. So do check us out. <laughs> do check us out there. Um, that's the MBS Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show with every support you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me and talking about the thank yous I would like to thank Amy Lucky Knight Master of Lag Tristan and also Jeffrey thank you so much guys you are great and honestly you guys even though you don't comment that much on the Patreons I, I know that you guys are supporting me deep down. It really means a lot to me. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. Let me change screens for a bit so it doesn't get too bright. Anyway, I am Norman Sanzo. And it is my pleasure to entertain you all. And well, I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.